Hello, I'm Jason McGee. I'm the Chief Architect for WebSphere Smash and the leader of Project Zero. And today in this video, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how to download, install, um, and build your first simple Hello World application with WebSphere Smash. Now, to get started, you need to go ahead and download WebSphere Smash. You do that by going to www.projectzero.org, uh, which is the uh, community uh, development site um, that's building WebSphere Smash. Here you can see the home page. Uh, simply click on the download link uh, at the top of the page. That will take you to some instructions on how to download uh, WebSphere Smash. Um, click on the download link. You'll be presented with a license agreement. Go ahead and accept that. And then go ahead and download um, the uh, zip file you're presented with. It's a pretty small download. It's only about 800k. Now once you have that downloaded, um, you can go and bring up a uh, terminal and unzip uh, that file um, into uh, a directory. Um, I went ahead and downloaded it and unzipped it into my demo folder. So you can see now I have a folder called zero. I can CD into that folder um, and I can run zero. Uh, the very first time you run zero, it goes ahead and bootstraps itself by connecting back to projectzero.org and downloading the kind of minimal set of capabilities uh, that, are, that are needed to run a Project Zero application. So it only take a few seconds. It's downloading maybe um, 5 meg or so of code. So now it's ready. You can see that the command works. If you were to run zero again, you just get presented with the help options. Um, if I want to go ahead and create an application, you know, at this point, zero is installed. It's ready for you to use. You've done everything that you needed to do. Um, to actually create an app, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a folder called apps. So that's where I want to put my applications. So I'll go into that folder. And then what I can do is I can say zero create. Hello. I'll say zero create hello world and it'll create me an application um, that I can use uh, to build this a simple uh, hello world example so again it's created the basic uh, framework of an application uh, it's then resolving that application which is checking its dependencies and making sure that uh, you have all the things you need so it's downloading a couple of things like the application template that are necessary uh, for building applications. Um, Zero is built on a modular system where the requirements of your application are dynamically loaded. Um, you only ever run exactly what you need. And so uh, if you build an application and you declare a dependency on some function that you need and you don't have that function on your machine, uh, Zero will go ahead uh, and automatically download that function for you um, and add it into the local repository in your machine that Zero maintains. Uh, once you've downloaded something, uh, you don't have to do it again. Of course, if there's new features uh, that you want to use or a new version of that function that's available, there's ways that you can um, update the copy that you have to a newer version and make use of that. So my app's created. Um, just to show you, um, if I were to create a, a new app, um, since I've already downloaded all the requirements for the first app, so if I create Hello World 2, you can see the second time uh, it's a much faster process because I've already downloaded all of the requirements that I had. All right, So let me go into my app, Hello World. Uh, maybe the first thing we'll do is we'll start it. All right, So I haven't created anything. Uh, this is just an empty shell of an application. And it's going to go ahead and start this thing up for me. All right, so it's up and running, very first time. If I want, I can go um, browse that application by going to 8080. And you can see here I have the app up and running. It gives me a little welcome page um, with um, basic information about uh, my application, uh, some links to some useful tools and things like that. Um, to actually create Hello World, all I have to do uh, is go to the public folder, which is kind of like the root of the application, and create a file, let's call it um, hello.groovy, we'll do it in Groovy. Okay, so here I have my script, uh, it's empty. So the simplest thing to do is I can just say print line, hello world, save it, and then I can go call that script. I don't have to restart anything, go like that, and there you go. So that's hello world. Uh, in Project Zero, very simple, of course. Um, we'll go into lots of details on how you build apps, but that's the basic process of downloading, installing, uh, and using um, Project Zero to build Hello World. 
Um, in a follow-on video, I'll show you how to do the same thing um, through our uh, Webster Smash application builder, um, which is our web-based development tooling for Webster Smash. Thanks a lot.